Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter 10, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and get started, but before we do, pause this, go ahead and write this down, take a picture, do whatever you have to do so that you know the areas of each of the thing, um, of each of the things that we're gonna be working with, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and I actually rewrote these on another piece of paper just so that we could do them together. So this is number two, okay? And let me take these out from under it to the other one. Okay. So number two, what we're doing is we're breaking it up into the different shapes, okay? So the shape of the first triangle is this six by nine, okay? So that's 54, and we're gonna divide that by two, okay? So 54 inside, two outside, okay? Two is gonna go into five two times, two times two is four, subtract, get one, Bring down your other four for 14. Two goes into 14 seven times. Seven times two is 14. Subtract, get zero. Okay, so our first number, 27. Okay? All right. The second number, we just have to do nine by 12. That's the area for the rectangle. Okay, so 12 times nine. Nine times two is 18. Carry the one. Nine times one is nine, plus one more is 10. So we have a 108. Notice I'm lining up my columns, okay? All right, the next one is that last triangle. It is a nine by 10, and then we have to divide that by two. Well, nine times 10 is 90, and when I divide that by two, I get 45, okay? So now I just need to add those up, okay? Five plus eight is 13, plus seven is 20, carry our two. Two plus four is six, plus two more, is eight, and then I'm gonna bring down my one. That is 180, and it is being measured in feet. Well, we multiplied feet by feet every time, so we get 180 feet squared, okay? 180 feet squared, okay? Pause, write down your work. You have to show your work, guys, okay? All right, we're going to go ahead and do number three together. Okay. And number three, it actually only has two shapes on there, but you will notice on our homework page that I actually split off that triangle because I don't know how to find the, the area of all of this, but I do know how to find the area of a square and a triangle and a parallelogram. Okay, so I got those. So I split it up. Okay. So this is my first, okay? Well, 11 times four is 44, okay? Now, this is how I split it up, okay? The square is only seven across. So I did the 14, which is this whole thing right here, minus that seven, which gave me seven. Well, seven times eight is 56, okay? So now I just have to do that last triangle. Well, so that leaves me with seven because this is seven and this is seven. I know it's not to scale. Um, and then I know that it's eight tall. So it's 56 and I have to divide that by two, okay? So two goes into five, two times, two times two is four, subtract and get one, okay? One is smaller than two, so I'm going to bring down my six, and two goes into 16 eight times, or 16, okay? So my last one here is going to be 28, all right? So now I just have to add those up. Well, eight plus six is 14, plus four more is 18. Carry the one. One plus two is three, plus five is eight, plus four is 12. That is 128. It's being measured in yards, and each time I did yard by yard, so that's yard squared, okay? Now, unlike most times, I'm going to have you guys go ahead and do the word problems with the both, but I gave you little hints. So on the first one, you're going to find the area of the whole parallelogram, and then you're going to subtract the triangle, the area of the triangle, okay? On the second one, you're going to find the area of the whole trapezoid, and then subtract the little rectangle. The area of the little rectangle, okay? 
So we are going to go into the back where you guys are going to do the lec and check, just like always. Okay. And remember, when it's an odd shape, cut it into shapes that you know. Okay. The dimensions are there. You just got to get it. Okay. All right. We're going to go down and do this spiral review. Okay. That first one. Uh, number three says, in Maritza's family, everyone's height is greater than 60 inches. Write an inequality that represents the height in inches of any member of Maritza's family. Well, here's the height, and here's 60 inches, and everyone's height is greater than 60 inches. That was easy, okay? The linear equation y equals 2x represents the cost y for x pounds of apples. Which ordered pair lies on the graph of the equation? So that means that if we did, let me just a second, guys. Okay. So we could do this. If we did 2 pounds, then it would be four, two, or two, four, okay? Two, four, okay? If we did three pounds, we would times two by three and get six, okay? If we did four pounds, we would do four times two and get eight, okay? Anything on there. You don't have to do all three of those. Any one of them will do, okay? All right. Two congruent triangles fit together to form a parallelogram with a base of 14 inches and a height of 10 inches. What is the area? Well, a parallelogram, all you have to do is multiply 14 by 10, and because this ends in a zero, it's one times 14, and then add that zero one, okay? Now, because it's a triangle, you have to cut that in two and get 70. It's being measured in inches. We multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared, okay? All right, a rectangular hexagon has sides measuring seven inches. If the hexagon is divided into six congruent triangles and has a height of about six inches, what's the approximate area of the hexagon? So, we have triangles, they're seven by six, okay? So we have to do seven times six divided by two, okay? Well, 7 times 6 is 42. If we divide that by 2, we get 21. Okay, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 twice. Okay. Now, so each one of them is, it's a hexagon. Okay. So we're going to times that by 6. Okay. Hexagon has 6 sides. Okay. 6 times 1. Six, six times two, 12, 126 inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared. All right, write down your work, guys. Make sure you're getting it, okay? All right, thanks for hanging out. For 10.7, come on back for 10.8. See you soon.